is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another video and today I have my brother-in-law Kyle and his girlfriend Christine with me and uh, since they had never been here before and Global Wildlife reached out and invited us back, we are back at Global Wildlife Center here in Folsom, Louisiana. Uh, it's honestly a little bit stormy out today, or not stormy, but it's gonna, it's gonna rain a little bit later on. But before we did this tour in kind of like an old Jeep style vehicle, it's called up there I believe, but now they have these Can-Am like 4x4 crazy off-road things uh, and they invited us back to do that, so we're just waiting to go get loaded up. Are you guys excited? Woo! Let's go. Woo! Teamwork. Uh, so we're just waiting for them to bring us out to the thing and then we'll get started, go hang out with baby giraffes and big cows, buffaloes, all kinds of cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. So they have a little mini basketball thing set up here too and while we're waiting, uh, Kyle said he's gonna make this walking away shot first try. I don't really believe him, but let's see. Yep. All right, so this wasn't necessarily supposed to be a reptile vlog, but there's a snake in the fence right here. It might be a cotton mouth though, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful, but I'm gonna have Kyle film me trying to, trying to grab it if I can. Uh, no, it's a there's, there's a duck coming right at you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a banded water snake, but there's no way I can get my hand down here yeah. okay, without like hanging over the rail. Are you sure it's alive? Yeah, it's definitely alive. That is definitely, yeah, it's heads hanging out. I wish I had a snake though. Chloe, our tour guide, is here. We're about to get in, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around. So that's what we did the tour in before, and now we are doing it in this. Definitely a little bit cooler, uh, in my opinion at least, off-road. I feel like it probably goes a hell of a lot faster than those things do. Me and Kyle are in kind of the open spot in the, the back of this little thing. Christine is up in the front right there getting her food. So we've got that stuff is for most of the animals and then we've got a bucket of corn right there. We're gonna save the bucket of corn for the drafts because they go absolutely wild for it. We are ready to get started, we're excited and definitely cooler doing it like open air, like there's nothing really above us. This little thing doesn't even come all the way to the back of our heads. Vice that thing where you're kind of all enclosed. I mean, both are still super cool, but I just think this is a little bit better. What's up guys? These guys, all the llamas, everything. Something scared them. Everything goes madness once the food is here. We got the deer. They're like, I'm not so sure that I want to come over and say hi to you right now. What's up, guys? Those llamas were getting a little bit aggressive trying to steal all of our food. I had to keep like swatting them away because they were sticking their head in the bucket. Now we're going to see the giraffes, which was the last thing that we did last time. So I'm kind of excited that we get to do that first. Well, I guess second. But uh, yeah, on the way to go hang out with some big giraffes and hopefully some babies too. Guys, it's so hard to put it into perspective Look at how big these guys are. Christine is getting attacked by giraffes right now. And we're just out here chilling. There's so many. This time there wasn't, I mean, there wasn't nearly as many all around us last time. Uh, let me, oh no, he's gonna slime the camera. This guy is so big. Here you go. Here you go. No, you can't have the camera. Here, eat some corn. Oh, I'm getting super slimed right now. This guy really likes the camera a lot. He's like, yo, what is that? Okay, wait, can I bring it back? Here, you want some of this? This is still good. They're like, nah, yo, we want corn. Straight up. They're, they're very greedy, too. They like stick their whole entire head in the bucket to try to get some. This guy is so curious about the camera. Hi, ah, buddy. Hi. I love this place. But well, we are officially out of corn. Um, the giraffes have officially raided us. This is a pretty little guy right here, though. I don't know. Again, I don't know how big oh. they come out. Oh my god, that guy just got super scared. He was like, uh, no. The giraffes, I feel like, are a little bit greedy. Um, they definitely wanted to steal all the corn, but now they're back to just eating the regular food. Uh, this place is definitely awesome. Again, this is Global Wildlife Center in Folsom, Louisiana. If you are ever in the New Orleans area, it's like just under a two hour drive to get here. Super cool, and you can literally just come and hang out with giraffes. This is top three coolest things ever. Kyle, are you having fun? Metal. Christine, are you having fun getting attacked by giraffes? What? Are you having fun getting yeah, attacked by giraffes? <laughs> you guys can see their heads are like literally inside with her right now. Alright, I have no more for you guys. Woo! <laughs> Don't be sassy. <laughs> I definitely like having the open air thing a lot better than the other one. Like I said, the other one's still cool because they stick their heads inside. But I don't know, just having them like towering over you is, is pretty awesome. Uh, we've still got a couple little guys chasing us. 
but we're leaving the giraffes. So we're gonna go see what else we can find and uh, hopefully we can get into some more cool stuff. Looks like we are pulling up on some big old longhorns right now. Giant longhorns. Then if you guys watched my last video here, you might remember the ginormous cow that I uh, featured. For now, I've got these guys just surrounding me everywhere. But there's that huge, enormous cow. I, I, I'm telling, that cow is like eight and a half feet tall, dude. It is huge. But yeah, take a look at this guy's tongue. They just licked me. It's all slimy. Look at how big that guy is. I'm also trying to like watch my camera because their horns are absolutely massive. But uh, let's go ahead and give these guys a little bit of snackage. You want some snack, buddy? Here, it's up there. It's up there. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That guy just beast moded through. Look at how big. So the little ones are still huge and that one just towers over them. Well, I am now covered in cow slobber from uh, Mr. Winston, and we still have these guys. Oh, those guys are like duking it out a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm covered in cow slobber. Kyle just French kissed the cow. Um, this this is going great. We're almost out of food already, so we might have to go uh, restock on some food. We are leaving uh, Winston and all of the big longhorns. Now we're gonna go check out the bison. Say bye to the big longhorn and then the giant cow, Winston. You guys can see how big these guys are. And he, no, listen, you already got enough. You got enough. Check out the little baby calf right there. Not you, that little guy. So cute. This place really does look like you're like out in the African savanna too. Like when you look around, there's just animals absolutely everywhere. Everything from emus to bison. There's like little things that look like reindeer. They might be reindeer, I'm not sure. But uh, all kinds of stuff. Right now, like I said, we are on our way. To go check out the giant bison. Here we are with the uh, giant bison. Check this dude out. There you go, buddy. It's crazy how much food they can fit in their mouth. Like you literally just dump in whole cupfuls of food. There's so many little bugs too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kyle's over there feeding that giant guy. Time to hang out with some fluffy bison. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They're so fluffy. So a little fun fact for you, uh, these guys are a species similar to these, run wild in Yellowstone National Park. I don't know, I might have mentioned this in the last video too, but these guys are responsible for more deaths in Yellowstone than any other animal. So there's like bears, mountain lions, all kinds of stuff. He wanted to make a quick cameo, but yeah, these guys are responsible. So if you ever see one in the wild, do not be dumb and go up to it. These ones have obviously been in captivity for a super long, or like, captivity I mean they pretty much have free reign but they're used to people so they do not want to kill us also because we have food but in the wild these guys would definitely mess you up all right so we said bye to the bison we're gonna go restock on some food uh, and then continue to just go around and feed stuff I definitely want to feed these little birds that are everywhere they're cool the way they eat is just really cool they like pluck out of your hand uh, it's super cool and I want to show them that too maybe we can get one to jump in with Christine because all of them seem to love her now we just have a literal herd of these like deer and birds following us around. All of these guys have literally been following us now for like the past five minutes just because we keep tossing a few pieces of food out and then they all swarm over. Ready? So right now they're all right there, right? I don't know if you can hear the noise they're making too. They make like a little, like a high pitched chirp. It almost sounds like a duck noise or something. But uh, yeah, these guys have just been following us around. And then I think uh, next we're probably gonna go out to like the big lake that's over there and see if there's anything hanging out by the water. All right, so now we are in uh, llama land. Just starting to sprinkle a little bit. But luckily the rain has held off so far, which is pretty nice. I do have my camera wrapped up in a, in a bag right now just in case it did rain, but my microphone is exposed to the elements. We also have these little guys coming up. I don't think we've seen them yet. They almost look like a taller capybara. I don't, I don't know if you guys know what a capybara is, but it's like a, I don't, it looks like a big beaver, and these guys look like taller capybaras. But these llamas are cool. I like how their pattern is, the like spots on their head. They're really pretty. I've never seen llamas like that before. Dude. We just had a llama completely with a whole mouthful of food 
just spit it all over us. And now he's like chasing us. Literally went all over Kyle's face. It's all over my shirt and eye. There's a piece on my lens right there and right there. Uh, that was rough. Uh, it looks like not much is really hanging out by the water, but I think we're still gonna head over there and just kind of check it out. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some uh, water snakes or something. Looks like we found a, a nice little group of zebras that are hanging out, and it's just them, so I guess we can feed these guys then. Zebra. Want some? It's food. Casually feeding zebras. It, uh, it looks like we have some intruders coming in. So now we have officially been invaded by a pack of whatever those things are. Little mini deer. Oh! That giraffe just tried to kick Kyle. I mean giraffe, that's a zebra, not a giraffe. Now they're all, they're all getting a little bit feisty now. I think it's because the other stuff now came around. They were super cool when it was just the zebras, but I guess they get a little bit food aggressive when uh, other stuff comes around. I thought the giraffes were greedy, but the llamas are like, you can see that, they, they won't leave us alone. We're trying to go away and they're just following us around. Hey, yeah, they won't leave us alone. So unfortunately, the camels are in a little bit of a timeout at the moment, so the camels aren't out right now, and uh, the eland kind of get, they get put in like their houses, I guess, for the winter because they have such low body fat percentage that in the winter, they need to keep like a special eye on them. So unfortunately, no elands and camels on this trip, but I'm sure we'll be back. We got these little like deer thing are like duking it out right now, trying to get the food. We're still being chased by llamas. Woo. I'm telling you, this place is definitely worth every penny. I mean, even just even if there was no animals and you just kind of cruise around like this cool property and this thing, it's still fun just to sit back here and kind of drive around. I mean, obviously the scenery, as you guys have seen, is beautiful. Check all this out. I mean, this is all completely free range, free roam. It's cool to see how the animals act in their. I mean, not natural habitat, but without having like real fencing or anything, you know what I mean? Like obviously the property is fenced in just so the animals can't go wherever they want, but there's, you know, probably a thousand, maybe even more than that acres here where the animals can just go around and do whatever they want. And it's really cool being able to see them like that. This is gonna be our last stop. We figured we would come back and just hang out with the giraffes for the last little bit of food that we have left, which is... Oh. The camel, right? Yeah, I know, that's one of the camels that we got. And I think she said that's the one that is in timeout. Um, but yeah, we just figured we'd come back and hang out with the giraffes for the last little bit. We have the last little bit of food to uh, feed off. And I think these guys are definitely my favorite animals here. Um, so yeah, just gonna feed off the rest of our food to the giraffes. Say bye-bye to the giraffes. What's up, buddy? He said, I'm in jail, guys. Yeah, that guy's in timeout for uh, for being a naughty camel. I think we're gonna go ahead and head back to their little main base camp. I'll bring you guys back once we get there. So the rain pretty much held off the whole time we were there, but now it is starting to rain. You can probably see it in the water a little bit. Uh, super great time, as always. And like I said, I definitely like doing it in the, um, the Can-Am thing a lot better. Kyle pointed out to me that there's some ducks that eat. Oh, he actually pet it. They wouldn't let me pet them before. Oh, that one's gone. Oh, Christy, you gotta pet it. Oh, that one's like friendly. Oh. He just jumped because a duck jumped. Um, but yeah, super great time. Thank you again to Global Wildlife Center. All their links will be down in the description. If you're ever in the New Orleans slash Folsom, Louisiana area, definitely gotta come here and check it out. Uh, Kyle, Christine, did you guys have fun? Yeah, we did. What was your favorite part? Giraffes. Giraffes. I think that's what everyone's favorite part is. Uh, I really like the eland too, but unfortunately, like I said, they're off display at the moment. The snake is still over there too, but he's high enough to where I can't get him. Uh, and they told me that that's actually like, he hangs out there and he's been there for a few weeks now, so I don't wanna mess with him too much. But thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, comment down below what was your favorite animal. Subscribe if this is your first time coming to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. I will see you guys in the next video, peace.
Go. Nope. Nope. Oh. Close, but nope. Yep. Oh.